Hi there, I'm Dr. Ryan Shelton. If you worry about hair loss or you're overwhelmed with your options and whether any of them actually restore your hair, then I have to ask you, did you know there's a remote Seminole Indian tribe in Central Florida where hair loss simply doesn't exist? These fortunate men and women never face the humiliation that comes from losing hair too early. Like when hair comes out in your hands while shampooing and it clogs the drain after a single shower. Or your husband or wife loses interest in sex because they don't find you attractive anymore. While friends, co-workers, or even your boss judges you because they spy your thinning scalp and their subconscious mind interprets that to mean you're old and past your prime. It all leads to a nagging feeling telling you that your hair loss makes you doubt yourself in every aspect of your life. You've lost that pep in your step and you no longer believe you're a romantic catch. The world doesn't hold as many possibilities as it used to. Not because you're older, but because your hair loss is holding you back mentally. You feel like your thinning hair is a flashing neon sign that life has passed you by. So let me be the first to tell you. Thinning and receding hair does not mean you're getting older or that you're unattractive or that you're not the man or woman that you used to be. All it means is that you still haven't heard about the Seminole tribe's secret to never losing their hair. And hold on before you say it, no, their secret is not just lucky genetics. It's a natural plant-based solution that I call the razor grass remedy. A simplified version used to be available in many grocery stores, although if you live in the South, it could still be growing right there in your backyard. Researchers at the University of Rome have discovered that this Seminole secret jumpstarts your body's ability to grow and regrow full, healthy hair. The nutrients inside this razor grass plant work directly on your follicle cells by protecting against the true cause of thinning hair, imbalanced hair loss hormones. But the Seminole secret has recently leaked to the public, and it's causing a frenzy. This plant is so popular that pharmaceutical companies have put a bounty on it, and desperate people are sneaking into state forests at night and poaching it. Well, officials in Hernando County are on the lookout for poachers. They say are illegally raiding a natural resource, all in the name of a quick buck. Officials say people are breaking into the refuge to go after these palmetto berries. They are sold to pharmaceutical companies and used in prostate medication. When that price fluctuates yeah, up, we see people come in with cars um, and they, you know, they, they try to take as many as they can. Uh, we also see the, the larger scale operations, which they came in here with farming trucks. But the pharma corporations aren't the only ones who want to get their hands on it. In fact, it's become the secret strength behind some of the world's most famous heads of hair who use their money and influence to claim this highly sought after remedy for themselves. You should know, according to Matthew McConaughey's genetics, he should be balding. Look at this image of his father. Or both his grandfathers. That's how I knew the Seminole's razor grass remedy was really special. It overrides the genes that make you bald early. And that's making scientists' jaws hit the floor. Did I mention the medical community's been obsessing over this natural hair loss remedy, analyzing and testing everything about it to determine that the Seminoles really did know how to protect and restore hair thick enough for your husband or wife to run their fingers through? And now researchers have published their proof in the top journals that report on hair loss science, the Journal of Dermatology, the Journal of Dermatological Research, and the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology. These reports prove what the Seminoles have known for generations and what the rich and powerful have recently discovered. This razor grass remedy overrides bad genetics to balance your hair loss hormone and regrow your hair. And unless you're lucky enough that this plant's growing in your backyard right now, frantic popularity has it overvalued and in short supply. Your chance to try it for yourself is running out fast which is bad news because the imbalanced hormone causing your hair loss is also linked to heart concerns and prostate and other cancers. So please make sure you watch this presentation all the way to the end right now before it's too late. Please don't hesitate. As we speak, the pharma corporations are paying poachers thousands of dollars for just a few ounces of this plant, raising its market price every single second. Ah, but don't worry, because I'm about to show you how to spot this hair-restoring razor grass in the wild. Or if that's not an option for where you live, 
how to claim its valuable extract for less than pennies on the dollar. Now, I, I should warn you, this presentation's attracting the attention of the $3.2 billion hair loss industry. They want you to spend thousands of dollars on hair transplant surgery or foam shampoo that doesn't even work for most people. They don't want you to know about the Seminole plant that can regrow hair. Now, look, I don't know how long I can keep this video up, so please watch it now. In my almost two decades practicing medicine, I've seen that my patients who successfully rescue their thinning or receding hair have one thing in common. When they see an opportunity to boost their health or happiness or confidence, hey, they act without hesitation. In fact, I've seen results throughout my medical career that would shock you. My name is Dr. Ryan Shelton. I live in warm, sunny Hawaii with my wife and two boys, where I'm a licensed primary care physician. I've guided hundreds of one-on-one -on -one patients to their health goals, and my research and best-selling books have helped literally hundreds of thousands of men and women over age 40. I've dedicated my medical career to two things, helping my patients leverage their health to boost their overall happiness and uncovering the next natural breakthrough in medicine. So you won't be surprised to hear that the news about the Seminole Tribe's hair growth remedy had caught my attention. After all, most of my patients would kill to have thick, healthy hair like these Native Americans. These patients are my friends, so it hurts me to see the confidence loss and judgment that they have to go through. Maybe you've experienced their pain for yourself. Like my friend Diane C. from New Hampshire, age 49. Diane's a real estate agent, so she's face-to-face -face with new customers every day. Her very livelihood depends on making a first impression. So when she noticed hair on her pillowcase each morning, she panicked. Thinning hair was supposed to happen to men, not women. She looked in the mirror and felt frumpy no matter what outfit she picked out. And her husband wasn't looking at her like he used to. Their sex life dwindled, and that put their whole relationship on edge. Diane used to feel like she was succeeding as a modern woman with a great career and a happy marriage. But all it took was thinning hair to smack her confidence down to rock bottom. She knew appearance wasn't everything, but she couldn't help but feel like less of a woman. Diane would have given anything to get back the woman that she used to be. And then there's my friend Jackson W. from Michigan, who had it just as bad. He's 58 and worked the front office for his town's auto mechanic. His scalp was thinning all around, he had a bald spot starting up top, and his hairline was steadily receding, or as the guys at the shop joked, his forehead was growing. Jackson knew it happened to lots of men, but that didn't make it feel any better. His co-workers and customers used to treat him as just one of the guys, even though he was older than them. But since his hair loss got more obvious, well, they started treating him like a fragile old man. The other mechanics never asked him for help lifting things, and any time he took off work, they made comments about doctor's appointments. Customers raised their voice to talk to him as if losing his hair meant he couldn't hear. Worst of all, his own son started treating him the same way, never asking for advice anymore. But that's what happens when folks see your thinning hair. They think baldness means you're old and past your prime, and then they assume every stereotype of older people applies to you. In fact, a survey performed by Johns Hopkins School of Medicine revealed just how many people judge you based on your hair loss. It showed that when you're losing your hair, people assume you're 5 to 10 years older and they assume it's more likely you have health problems. They think you work a forgettable job and that you're poor. Women are 30% less likely to find a balding man attractive, and men are 80% less likely to find a balding woman attractive. Now, those stats bleed over into all aspects of life. If someone thinks you're old, sickly, and ugly, they're less friendly to you, less likely to take you seriously or value your opinion, and certainly less likely to hire you or give you a raise. And let's not even get into how hair loss saps your self-esteem. With your confidence damaged, you smile less, feel more stressed, you take fewer risks, you go out less, and generally, you just don't try as hard at life. You just stop believing in yourself. It's a quick plummet to your life just falling apart in your hands. So why not do something about it? Why don't people like Diane or Jackson use the foam shampoo in the pharmacy aisle or even get hair replacement surgery? Well, for starters, one study found that the foam shampoo only works for less than 25% of people who try it. 
And even then, it might help slow down your hair loss, but doesn't do much to regrow what's already fallen out. Well, maybe you're saying, that's still worth it. Well, the side effects might not be. You see, it can cause reddening of your scalp and face. It itches like hell and sometimes even causes a rash. It can give you severe headaches and sometimes dangerous chest pain. Plus, it can even cause weight gain. I tell you, packing on an extra 10 pounds will make you feel as bad as thinning hair. But here's the part I find horrifying. That foam shampoo can actually cause more hair loss the first 6 to 10 weeks. It's a warm-up period before it kicks in. Look, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to look even older for two months. And what if you end up being part of the 75% of people who the foam shampoo doesn't work for? Well, that might be why surveys found that nearly 70% of men who try the foam shampoos are unhappy with it. Probably because they spend two months losing even more hair. And for what? Nothing. Well, not nothing. It actually costs you about $60 per month. And once you start, you can never stop using it, or else your hair loss will kick right back into gear and even make up for lost time. So, look, let's do some math. If you're around 50, let's say you'll be here another 40 years. You'll spend $28,800 just on that foam shampoo. Okay, so what about hair replacement surgery? No, that can't cost much more, can it? You and I both know that healthcare costs are only going up. Insurance calls hair transplant surgery cosmetic, so you'll be on the hook for the whole cost, which is around $10,000. And even if you're blessed enough that you can not afford it, as a doctor, I can't recommend it. First of all, hair replacement surgery is incredibly painful for up to several weeks afterwards. So you can forget keeping your surgery a secret. People will see the new hair, they'll see you wincing every time the air conditioning cuts on and blows on you, and they'll put two and two together. If everyone knows you had hair transplant surgery, they'll still see you as old and feeble. So again, what's the point? And look, let's be honest, that surgery rarely looks good. I mean, just look at this. When you look in the mirror and miss how your hair used to look, is this what you're longing for? Plus, it'll look even worse when your hairline keeps receding back past the hair transplant. That's right, your hair can keep right on thinning and receding, leaving you with an awkward patch of hair that looks like sparse tufts of grass. And I haven't even gotten to the scariest part yet. We've been talking a lot about how hair loss makes you look, how it damages your confidence, how it makes people see you. There are more important health issues at play here. Hair loss can be a warning sign of medical problems to come. It's linked to heart issues. It's linked to prostate cancer for men and other cancers for both men and women. Now, of course, it's not your hair falling out that causes these issues. Your hair loss is just a sign. Because the same underlying problem causes both these medical concerns and hair loss. What's this underlying cause? It's an imbalance of your hair loss hormone which throws a wrench in your normal hair growth cycle. This is how your hair growth process is supposed to work. It starts with a tiny organ on the edge of your skin called the hair follicle. The follicle is not the hair itself, it's where the hair grows out from. Each follicle goes through a normal hair growth cycle. Stage 1 is shedding, when the hair falls out. Stage 2 is growth or regrowth. You see, your hair is supposed to fall out. An individual strand of hair on your head lives between two and four years. Once a hair dies, the follicle sheds it, letting it fall out. But then that follicle grows another hair. Your hair is supposed to fall out, but then right afterwards, it's supposed to grow back. In other words, at least every four years, you lose every single hair on your head and grow them all back. So what's going on when your hair falls out and doesn't grow back? Many people will say genetics, then shrug their shoulders and tell you there's nothing you can do. They're wrong. Recent research has shown what happens to trigger your follicles to stop regrowing hair. Everyone has a hormone called dihydrotestosterone, or DHT for short. It's a byproduct of testosterone, so men have more of it, but women also produce it. DHT is a normal, natural hormone. Like any hormone, it carries messages between your organs. DHT is responsible for a lot of growth during puberty. Into adulthood, it plays less of a role, and your body produces less of it. 
But for the 85% of men and 40% of women who suffer from hair loss at some point in their lives, their bodies produce too much DHT. Now that's a problem because imbalanced DHT is linked to the medical issues I mentioned a second ago. And also because when there's too much of it swirling through your body, it causes hair loss. Its molecular structure matches with your follicles so it can connect and deliver its hijacking message, DHT tells your body to stop regrowing hair. Your follicles start the hair growth process. They grow the hair, supporting it for two to four years. They shed the hair, so it falls out. But then your follicle doesn't regrow the hair. Now you're missing a single hair. But as DHT runs wild, more and more follicles get stuck in the shedding stage. Soon you're missing several hairs, and then dozens, and then hundreds. And then you look in the mirror and your heart sinks as you notice how thin it's getting up there. Now, I should mention people who say that genetics causes hair loss, well, they're partly right. There are a number of reasons DHT can get imbalanced in your body, and genetics are one of them. Some people's DNA just produces more DHT than others, and that's why you might see a lot of baldness in a single family. For example, if you look at Matthew McConaughey's father and both of his grandfathers, you can see that hair loss runs deep in his family. So if his genetics likely cause his body to produce high levels of this hair loss hormone, well, why hasn't he gone bald? According to People magazine, McConaughey takes what's called a DHT inhibitor. And he's not the only rich and powerful person using this. Donald Trump's personal doctor leaked that Trump takes one too. Now, I know people poke fun at his hair, but they're usually laughing at how he styles it or the fact that, honestly, it's a little orange. But the fact is, for someone over 70 years old, he's got volume and thickness that most 50-year-olds would kill for. And like McConaughey, Trump's DHT inhibitor has overcome his genetics. Just look at all the men in Trump's family. That's how powerful a DHT inhibitor can be. It can overcome even the most unlucky hair loss genes. And there's plenty more celebrities who have to keep their look, so they rely on DHT inhibitors. Oscar winner Bradley Cooper says he uses one, along with Hugh Laurie, John Travolta, and even young buck Justin Bieber used it when he started losing his hair early. And that list is just the celebrities who've talked about it openly. For everyone who admits to using this to rescue their hair, there's a dozen more who prefer to keep it a secret. So what exactly is a DHT inhibitor? These are nutrients that reduce your levels of DHT before that DHT can hijack your follicles. DHT inhibitors switch back on your hair growth cycle. They match with the DHT in a way that makes this hair loss hormone thinks it's already delivered its message, so it dissolves away before it can send any messages to your follicles. Now that your follicles are no longer receiving messages not to regrow hair, they'll go back to the normal hair growth cycle, grow, shed, regrow. But you don't have to be Hollywood wealthy to afford an effective DHT inhibitor. The most effective DHT inhibitor grows right out of the ground. If you live in the South, it could even be growing in your backyard right now. In fact, this hair rescuing plant is the secret reason that the men and women of the Seminole Indian tribe never go bald. You've probably heard of the Seminole Indian tribe already. They're the mascot of Florida State University. They're traditionally from Florida, where they've lived for centuries, and like many Native American tribes, their hair plays a big part in their culture. Both men and women wear their hair long and flowing, even into their old age. The Seminole tribe often cut their hair in unique styles, shaving the sides but leaving long braids. In the past, they believed any hair that fell out could be used in black magic against you, so they took extra care to protect it. It wasn't until the last century or so that people started to realize something shocking about the Seminoles and about many Native American tribes. Their hair doesn't thin. Hmm. Long into their old age, their hair stays thick and full. Baldness simply doesn't exist for the Seminoles. Scientists have tackled the issue, examining everything from climate to genetics. Recently, researchers have discovered something fascinating about the Seminole lifestyle. One of their natural remedies for urinary and reproductive health has the added effect of balancing DHT and protecting hair follicles. It's what I sometimes call razor grass. This natural remedy is a relative of palm trees called saw palmetto, and it's one of the most potent natural DHT inhibitors in the world.
In 2002, a doctor named Nelson Prager decided to test it for himself. He organized a study of 26 men, aged 23 to 64. He gave half of them an extract of saw palmetto, and he gave the other half a placebo, a sugar pill. After four months, he measured the results. Dr. Prager reported patients who took saw palmetto extract were 600% more likely to restore thicker hair. And the patients themselves reported that they noticed bald spot shrinking, increased hair growth, and higher satisfaction with her hair. Dr. Prager later announced to the scientific community, these findings show a markedly positive response to treatment. Now that was a small study with only 26 participants, but it kicked off the health community's interest in saw palmetto as a solution to hair loss. Well, once the word was out, researchers were lining up to test it out for themselves. After all, hair loss impacts 85% of men and over 40% of women. But those researchers had greedy motives. Hair loss treatment is a $3.6 billion industry. A new all-natural treatment could add even more to the pharmaceutical company's profits, especially if they could turn it into a drug. To start out, they had to be absolutely positive that this natural ingredient was safe. Research published in the Journal of Urology and Complementary Therapies in Medicine gave saw palmetto extract to over 600 adults and found zero harmful effects. Once they determined there were no side effects, they wanted to make sure they understood scientifically why saw palmetto extract reversed hair loss. The industry funded scientists all over the world to evaluate how this plant rescues your hair. The Albany College of Pharmacy in New York summed up this research, revealing what I explained to you a few moments ago, that saw palmetto is a DHT inhibitor. With less DHT in your system, your follicles continue the hair growth cycle of grow, shed, regrow, and you keep or regrow the hair on your head, breathing a sigh of relief that you rescued your hair. Now you can imagine Big Pharma was practically drooling over their imagined new profits from this natural plant. So they launched a final series of studies, this time testing the DHT inhibitor saw palmetto on larger groups and measuring its results on hair growth. One study was performed at the University of Rome. They gave these DHT inhibitors to over 100 men and women. They repeated Dr. Prager's original results, only this time on five times the number of patients. For those with mild to moderate hair loss at the beginning of the study, about 75% improved their hair growth. Another 21% were able to stop losing hair. Now, for those with more advanced hair loss at the beginning of the study, still about 62% improved their hair growth and another 25% stopped losing hair. Meanwhile, doctors in Thailand performed a similar study, but they took it a step further. They applied saw palmetto extract directly to the scalp, and to make sure their results were precise, they counted individual hairs at the beginning and end of the trial. After four weeks, they found 74% more hair. The health community was thrilled. Finally, a natural way to balance your DHT and free your follicles to regrow your hair. A way to skip the expensive foam shampoo and pass on the painful surgeries, yet still reclaim the thick hair you used to have. A way to stop co-workers and your boss from seeing you as outdated and feeble. A way to stop strangers from seeing you as unattractive, untrustworthy, or not worth noticing. And a way to get your wife or husband to find you attractive again, and for your whole family to remember that you're still the person you've always been. Something so simple as thickening your hair and restoring your receding hairline really will make you feel as confident as you were 20 years ago. But remember, I warned you that the pharmaceutical giants were the ones funding this research. They see a natural solution and look for ways to turn it into a chemical drug. And that's exactly what they're trying to do with saw palmetto. The good news is they can't put a patent on a naturally occurring plant. They can't legally stop you from using saw palmetto yourself. The bad news is they can buy up all the supplies of this plant and pretend it's for research purposes. The pharmaceutical corporations offer such a high bounty for saw palmetto that it's creating an artificial shortage. There's only a few farms that grow saw palmetto and they're getting rich right now from the pharma companies buying up all their crops. It grows in the wild too, but that's causing another crisis. Come August in Immokalee, 
saw palmetto berries become a new currency in town. This ain't just a single business, it's business versus business. He sells them to a bigger distributor, making up to $40,000 per truckload. But the real challenge is often for the pickers. In order to get the valuable berries, they often have to break the law. A lot of the, the, the complaints we got were from neighbors actually seeing men with machetes walking through the woods. Lieutenant Sean Arthur with the Collier County Sheriff's Office says more people are calling about trespassers picking berries this year. Arthur says he's working with county officials to introduce new rules penalizing people picking berries illegally. You saw that right. Demand for saw palmetto is so high that people are poaching it from state forests. Between high demand and poaching, it's almost impossible to find quality saw palmetto anywhere. You might find it in bottles in a health food store, but those supplies aren't pristine, or they skimp on quality control to make up for their lost profits from the high ingredient cost. Unless you've got saw palmetto growing in your backyard, you need a better way. You can imagine how frustrating this all was for me. I mean, I had patients and friends whose husbands or wives no longer found them attractive or were afraid to go to the store without wearing a hat. Men and women whose lives were falling apart because of hair loss. And while there was a natural solution that would kick their follicles back into gear to start regrowing hair, but overpricing and poaching made it impossible to actually get this natural solution. So my patients and friends, well, they were stuck. I determined to solve this problem. After all, in my work with Zenith Labs, I formulated dozens of natural health solutions that have helped hundreds of thousands of people. But for this one, I couldn't go to my normal sources for health-boosting ingredients because of how much the pharmaceutical companies had overpriced saw palmetto on the normal market. I had to find another source of saw palmetto. It took months of searching until I finally found hope. I found one grower of saw palmetto who didn't like what the pharmaceutical companies were doing. He knew he could get the highest price by selling his crop directly to Big Pharma, but he didn't want it to go straight into their research and profit-seeking, not when that same saw palmetto could help regular folks who were stressing out over thinning hair. He was willing to work with me and my team at Zenith Labs to supply us with the saw palmetto we needed to deliver a hair loss solution to regular folks like you and me. Once I'd secured the source, my team and I set to work on formulating the perfect formula to reinvigorate your follicles, to kickstart your hair growth, and to give you back your youthful confidence. We're calling it the Hair Revital X system. Obviously, we started with saw palmetto. You've already seen the medical studies that show how this plant balances your DHT levels to restore your hair. If you remember, those studies showed that two ways of taking it were effective swallowing it or applying it directly to your scalp. So pretty quickly, we decided we actually needed two formulas, one for an oral supplement and one for a topical supplement. Because when combined, these two formulas are the most stunningly powerful method to regrow your hair. Well, let me tell you about the oral supplement first. Now, saw palmetto by itself is a force to be reckoned with, but it's not the only tool at your disposal. You see, modern research from both mainstream and alternative medicine has revealed a whole arsenal of hair-restoring plants, minerals, and other natural nutrients. So my team and I dove through hundreds upon hundreds of medical journals and relied on our professional experience, and we formulated three ingredient blends to accompany saw palmetto in the oral supplement. These powerful ingredient blends help maximize and accelerate your hair growth in three unique ways. Let's start off with blend number one, the anti-genetics blend. These ingredients target the genetic reasons your body produces too much DHT. This blend is especially for you if you come from a family that often goes bald early. The problem causing your hair loss is deep in your genes, so this ingredient blend is all about counteracting that genetic short straw to give you an extra boost in reducing your DHT and freeing your follicles so you can feel the excitement of looking in the mirror each morning and seeing more hair instead of less. The anti-genetics blend combines three natural ingredients. The first is nettle leaf extract. Doctors in Germany found that extract from the nettle plant reduced DHT levels as effectively as prescription DHT inhibitors. They found that it actually increased your amount of follicle cells. Obviously, since each hair on your head grows out from a follicle, more follicles means more hair for your husband or wife to run their fingers through. Wouldn't that make you feel young and in love again? 
and we're just getting started. Next is Pygium Bark Extract. The bark of the African cherry tree works along saw palmetto to target DHT in your body, then deactivates it before it can damage your follicles. Researchers in New York found that Pygium bark reduces DHT levels and also directly stimulates hair growth. Last is L-methionine. This is an essential amino acid that your body naturally produces. It keeps your DHT levels in check. The New York Academy of Science has reported that supplementing L-methionine balances your DHT so your follicles stay protected. Those are the three ingredients of the anti-genetics blend to help protect and regrow your hair, no matter how much DHT your personal genetics try to produce. Alongside saw palmetto, they give you what you need to balance your DHT levels and restart your follicles' natural hair growth cycle so you can get back the hair from 20 years ago that you were proud of. Now, I actually want to do you one better than just restarting your hair growth cycle. I want to kick it up a notch. Normally, your follicles spend about 83% of their time in the shed stage and only 17% in the growth stage. Since your individual hairs live two to four years, 17% of that time spent regrowing is technically enough to keep your hair thick. But if you're watching this, I know you won't be satisfied with technically enough. You don't want to wait around while your follicles only grow hair for four hours each day. You want faster, more noticeable results. So we want to naturally shorten your follicles' shed stage and lengthen the grow stage. Let's spend less time losing hair and more time regrowing it. And that's why I formulated blend number two, the Regrowth Extender Blend. It includes four ingredients, each hand-selected because they've been scientifically tested and shown to shorten your follicle shed stage and extend the grow stage. They are vitamin A palmitate, phytosterols, a compound from sunflower seeds, pantothenic acid, that's vitamin B5, and the mineral zinc. Now, I won't bore you with the details of studies from California, India, Korea, and Switzerland because they all found the same thing. Adding the ingredients of the Regrowth Extender Blend improved the hair follicle cycle. It spent less time in the shed stage and more time in the regrowth stage. Patients started out spending 83% of the time shedding, that's 20 hours per day losing their hair, and only 4 hours regrowing it. After taking these ingredients, the average follicle now spent only 29% of their time in the shed stage. That's only 7 hours per day losing hair and 17 hours per day spent regrowing hair. Plus, when they counted the hairs at the beginning and end of treatment, researchers found ingredients in the regrowth extender blend helped hair grow 184% more dense. 184% denser hair is the difference between this and this. Wouldn't that feel great to look in the mirror and see so much hair come back? What would you do? Uh, who would you tell first? It'd be amazing to finally get that weight off your shoulders. That's why my patients are so excited about the Hair Revital X system. Not just the saw palmetto and anti-genetics blend, which instruct your hair follicles to start growing hair again, but also the Regrowth Extender Blend, which programs your hair follicles to spend 17 hours per day in the regrowth stage so your hair comes back faster than you dared hope. Imagine replacing that sinking feeling in your stomach when you see more hair clogging the drain with the excitement and joy of noticing that you're seeing less and less of your scalp each day. That's how thick your hair is getting. I'd almost finished formulating Hair Revital X when one more thing occurred to me. Some hair systems will help regrow hair, but then that hair is thin, gray, and dry. If your hair grows back stringy and unhealthy, then what's the point? Your confidence won't come back because you still won't love how you look. So I decided that Hair Revital X needed one more ingredient blend. I'm calling it blend number three, the Healthy Hair Blend. It includes four ingredients that support healthy, shimmering hair. The first two are L-cysteine and pyridoxal 5-phosphate, which is vitamin B6. L-cysteine is an amino acid that nourishes your tissues and cells. Vitamin B6 helps your body absorb L-cysteine. Together, they extend cell life, especially in your follicles and hairs. To put it simply, they keep hair young, hydrated, and healthy. The next two ingredients are folic acid and biotin. Two more forms of vitamin B, these ingredients are well known to support healthy skin, nail, and hair tissue. 
Studies show that they help keep hair cells nourished with water and oxygen, which results in stronger hair growth, less breaking, and less graying. With these three ingredient blends and powerful saw palmetto, the oral supplement half of the Hair Revital X system will help balance your DHT, lengthen your follicles' regrowth stage, and nourish your hair cells. The end result is fast, healthy hair growth. But remember, some of the medical studies we talked about applied saw palmetto extract directly to the scalp. Why was that? Think about if you had pain in your elbow. You'd take an oral painkiller, but if it was really bad, you'd also apply a topical solution like Icy Hot, right? That's because you want to approach that pain from every angle. The oral painkiller gives your body the internal tools to solve the problem, and the topical solution directly targets the problem through your skin. It's the same with hair growth. That's why the Hair Revital X system includes a topical solution that you'll apply directly to your scalp. While the oral supplement is arming your body with the tools to lower DHT, extend your follicles' regrowth phase, and give you young, healthy hair, the topical supplement will be doing the same thing, only it'll be directly targeting the areas that need it. In fact, the topical supplement includes its own versions of the three ingredient blends, starting with topical blend number one, antigenetics. These are three ingredients that seek and destroy DHT before it can hijack your follicles. Now, of course, we start with saw palmetto. In a study published in the Journal of Dermatology, scientists worked with 50 volunteers with hair loss. They chose a half square inch spot on their scalp and counted the individual hairs. Then over the next 12 weeks, they applied saw palmetto extract each day. At the end of the study, they counted the hairs in that same half inch spot. The average hair count rose from 433 to 754. That's 74% more hairs. It's the difference between this and this. How'd you like to look in the mirror and see that kind of improvement? Ah, and we're not even done yet. The other two ingredients in this blend are rosemary and carthamus thistle extract. Japanese and Thai scientists discovered that rosemary and carthamus thistle extract reduce DHT nearly as well as saw palmetto. Next is topical blend number two, regrowth extender. These two ingredients help lengthen your follicle's regrowth stage, so your hair grows back at max speed. First is apigenin, which is a compound found in parsley and chamomile. A study published in the Journal of Dermatological Research reported that apigenin triggered hair cell growth by extending your follicle's regrowth stage. The second ingredient is centella. This plant, also called Asian pennywort, both extends the follicle regrowth stage and directly increases the expression of hair growth-related gene signatures. To put that in regular English, Centella takes any message from your DNA to grow hair and amplifies it. And then we have topical blend number three, healthy hair. These two ingredients help you grow hair that's healthy, thick, and avoids going gray. First is biotinoyl tripeptide. This directly improves hair health through an anti-aging effect on your follicle cells. It literally gives you younger hair. We pair it with Panax. Panax ginseng offers numerous health benefits, chief among them prolonged cell life. South Korean scientists discovered that Panax helped regrow healthy hair by keeping hair cells young for longer. Now that's all the same tools as the oral supplement, but we need one more topical blend. You don't want to apply the Hair Revital X topical supplement and then have the ingredients just sit on the outside of your scalp. You need it to dive down inside and protect your follicles, which is why the topical supplement also includes topical blend number four, deep absorption. These three ingredients have been scientifically shown to help other ingredients penetrate the skin barrier. We start with butylene glycol. This is an organic alcohol that comes from the sugars in many fruits and vegetables. It's used in literally thousands of products from moisturizers to sunscreen to shaving cream. When the product needs to be absorbed by your skin, butylene glycol is there. It's natural and safe, so we figured why reinvent the wheel? That's why we included the health industry's leading absorption agent. Next is lecithin. This comes from egg yolks, sunflower seeds, or soybeans. It's a common ingredient in homemade hand lotion recipes. It also helps other ingredients achieve deep absorption. Finally, the last ingredient is capsaicin. This comes from red peppers. It's often used in topical painkillers because it stimulates and repairs nerves and cells. 
and of course it helps the skin absorb other ingredients. Because it comes from red peppers, some people feel a warm sensation. So when you apply the Hair Revital X topical supplement, it feels like someone with delicate, warm fingers is massaging your scalp. Just know it's the capsaicin from red peppers, helping your follicles absorb the hair rescuing ingredients. And there, we had it. The Hair Revital X system was complete. The combined force of the oral and topical supplements could overpower genetics to support healthy DHT levels fortify your follicles and their hair growth cycle, and give you back a head of hair that you're proud to show off.